my most played cod zombies maps so what's going on guys so while recently i was taking a humongous dookie while i didn't have my phone with me i was thinking about my most played cod zombies maps by the way the toilet is where i make most of my ideas and if you haven't seen a good idea from me lately it's probably because i'm constipated I just pooped for the first time in two days today. But the list won't be in any specific order, and I'm definitely not ranking every map because we'd be here for a longer amount of time than my PP. And most of these are gonna be ballparks because the Xbox doesn't even show how many hours played for games, I don't think. So there's no accurate way of telling you the amount of hours I played in each map. Now, starting at number seven, we have Origins. Now, don't ask me why I started at number seven because I don't even know. So here is where I was thinking about it, all right? I got a list together of definitely my most played maps and I was like, all right, Origins. I've definitely played it more than any BO2 map. I've definitely played it more than any DLC in BO3. And then I played more of it than most BO1 maps and 100% more than any World at War maps. So that's why Origins is at number seven seven <laughs> now number six we have octagonal ascension now before you guys comment gauge you're retarded um the reason why i have a custom map on here is just because i had to it's incredible how much i've played octagonal ascension out of the few hundred hours i have on bo3 pc almost all of it is octagonal ascension it's probably my mo one of my most played bo3 maps in general i've played octagonal ascension more than any map in bo3 other than one so if you played a I I gotta say, if you played a custom map over 200 hours, like, I feel like it's a genuine map after that point. Number five, we have Shadows of Evil. Now, weeks before DLC 5 was released, but it was announced at that time, I had just gotten my PS4. Shadows of Evil was all I had. So I grinded BO3 hard in preparation at DLC 5 coming out because I didn't really play Black Ops 3 at all before. And I actually remember the days in ninth grade coming home from from school and playing that map in the basement and it was so fun i was just like playing it for the first time finding things on my own and like i remember looking up where all the shield parts were and and i discovered a lot of that map on my own like the apothecan and you know it was it was so freaking fun to me number four is moon when the resurrection dlc pack came out on august 23rd of 2011 moon was one of the two maps i played almost every single day up to the release of bo2 moon was kind of a revolutionary map at the time and it was so crazy and the hype behind it was amazing and not to mention that it came with the four world at war maps remastered which was so cool just in no man's land alone i've spent probably hundreds of hours because i remember every game my friend and i would restart until we got jug and then we would get jug before we went into the actual moon and then after that we would probably die or get jug stolen and then we would restart the whole process and just moon definitely is one of my most played maps because man that map was so fun to play at the time not to mention uh the the zapper gun being a mix of the ray gun and the wonder Waff, it was so cool to me as a 10 year old number three raven the redwoods no i'm just kidding it's ascension i've never even played infinite warfare please do not trace my ip and murder me this is one of the first maps that i've ever gotten to a high round to so naturally it's ahead of all the other maps. this was the first map that i ever hit over round 30 with which was 36 and this is also the first map i ever hit round 100 on black ops 1 is definitely the superior version though because all the memories with phd flopper like i remember back in the day you would just run phd flopper and jug and like you you and your duo would protect those when the monkeys came and those were actually just the best times ever and it was so cool it was the first map that had a gray spawn like you know you had to turn the power on and then there was light and the Chinska dolls and the freaking Gurch device. Oh man, the Gurch device is still my favorite thing ever to this day. The Gurch device was the coolest thing ever added to COD Zombies, period. Number two, 
Burger Town. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Frick, Darice, my bad. I remember Darice coming out with Moon's DLC pack back in 2011 for Black Ops 1. And to this day, it's one of my most played. My 10 year old self would literally dream about getting the Wonder Wop. And it felt so surreal once I finally played Darice for the first time and got the Wonder Wop because I wasn't able to get the DLC for World at War, but my friend ended up getting the DLC for Black Black Ops 1 and it was just so fun playing to Darius. And across all three Darius's, I've definitely put some serious time. I would probably say a minimum of 500 hours into that map. It was such an incredible map and the Black Ops 1 version, man, was just the most replayable thing at the time because it was such a good map. Now, before we get to number one, it's time for some honorable mentions. Uh, Transhit. I played this map a lot. Everybody hate this map, but I play it a lot. Another one. Uh, five. I play five a lot. Me like five. Nobody like five. Other one. Um, what's that one map? Town. Me not really like town, but only people on BO2 play town and no other map. Now for number one, we have Keynoter Toten. I think about the time that I spent playing Fortnite over the last three years, which is around 1700 hours. I am 100% sure I have put more hours into Kino alone. And honestly, it really does suck because for me, that's what killed this map. My friends will ask me to play Kino and it will be a no every time. Just thinking about logging in and playing this map actually makes me want to throw up with how boring it is. And it's another thing that also sucks is because for the PC player base, that's the only map that has people online for Black Ops 1. And it, it's so unfortunate, but I hate Kino. I, it's... Oh my god, I hate Kino so much because I've played it so much. But Kino Toten is a great map. One of the best strategies ever. Oh, just remembering days of doing the alley strat where the person in the back gets the window and then the person shoots where the zombies come from from the AK-74U. Those were good times. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content, taunt, yeah content and rank your top seven most played cod zombie maps in the comments because i'm definitely curious to see what the average map is and i'm what i'm thinking is it's probably kino or origins for most of you or mob of the dead that is what i'm thinking of so definitely comment below so i can see which one of you are which and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i always appreciate your guys support no matter what thank you for watching my videos Anyways, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.